This is Mitchell Zoller from Elsevier Global Medical News. Uh, I'm here speaking with Dr. Sanford Markowitz, who is the Engels Professor of Medical Genetics at Case Western Reserve University and Case Medical Center. Uh, Dr. Markowitz reported here at the meeting on the current status of a um, test that looks for hypermethylation in the Vimentin gene. Uh, the data show that it uh, can be found in approximately 80% of patients, uh, of people who undergo screening for colorectal cancer. This past July, it uh, was brought to the market as a test called Colashore. Um, so, Dr. Markowitz, could you tell us what you see as the uh, role of uh, this screening tool compared to the other screening methods that are now available for colorectal cancer screening? Yeah, certainly, Michael. So, colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in America. It kills 50,000 people every year. It kills more people than breast cancer. It kills more people than prostate cancer. Uh, so, we need ways that we can screen for this disease because if you catch colon cancer early, it's eminently curable. Now, the gold standard for screening has been and continues to be colonoscopy. Uh, however, we have not effectively been able to use colonoscopy to screen the entire population. And I think that reflects the fact that uh, some folks either are not willing to go for a test um, that's invasive, uh, or some folks are not able to cover a test which is not expensive as colonoscopy, either because they are not appropriately insured for it, or if they're insured, they're underinsured relative to the co-pays with the test. So our aim was to develop something that would be an inexpensive, non-invasive test that could be offered to folks who either would not accept or were not able to access colonoscopy. And that's what, that's what this DNA-based test is. This, that's what this ColoSure test is. So um, we're not saying if you were planning on getting a colonoscopy, you shouldn't get the colonoscopy. Indeed, I would urge everybody who hears this to try to get a colonoscopy. But we recognize that in the real world uh, that we live in right now, there are uh, huge numbers of people who can't or won't do that. And for those folks, we can now say we have an alternative that can pick up about 80% of colon cancers um, and also seem to be able to pick up about 80% of large premalignant colon polyps that can become cancers. So we're excited about it. It's not perfect, but we think it's uh, potentially able to make a real impact. Um, on detecting some folks who otherwise wouldn't be detected. Yes, and in your talk, I know there was a question raised about the role of this uh, test compared to, let's say, fecal occult blood testing, mm -hmm. which is a, one of the traditional alternative methods uh, that's used for screening. How would you compare these two methods, uh, the Colishure and fecal occult blood? Okay, well, let me first say there hasn't been a head-to-head -head comparison. Right. Um, and without a head-to-head -head comparison, we're on a little bit risky ground. But what I can say is that um, a previous fecal DNA test called Pregen Plus was compared to fecal occult blood and was found to be about five times as good in picking up colon cancer. And this test, the Colosure test, was compared to the Pregen Plus test and, is be, you know, and was found to be a more effective test than Pregen Plus. So I think the data would suggest that when the appropriate study, which will be the head-to-head -head test, of Colosure versus fecal occult blood is done, that Colosure should be better. The thing, you, you cited that this can pick up reliably about 80% of the cancers in a screening population. What about the other 20%? Is there, are there any prospects for, um, say, adding to this test uh, yeah, in the I think future? There, I think there are good prospects. And uh, write your congressman. <laughs> Tell them that when we're busy uh, bailing out the American financial system, to please put a little bit more money into cancer research as well. And so you think that another marker may come along in the I near future? I think, there's, I think there's very good chances to find another marker. We just have to, uh, to, 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 to be successful in uh, securing the funding to keep this line of research going. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, just finally, could you briefly just tell us what disclosures you have relative to this test? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the, uh, the test uh, is licensed through my university, Case Western Reserve University, um, to two companies, Exact Sciences and LabCorp. And uh, the university does provide 
that some of the royalties that they might collect would be returned uh, to, to me and to the folks that work with me as inventors on the test. Mm -hmm.